they have a great desire to uh, create a, a truly genuine shared society where they are included uh, through their direct participation and representation uh, in all of the different uh, elements of um, the dialogue to achieve shared societies. Indeed, if one considers the notion of shared societies, indigenous peoples have been the uh, initial or more organic framers of what a shared society should be. But more significantly, because of the external factors and pressures that are being placed upon indigenous people's communities, their voice in defining what it means to be a shared society and uh, their values and customs and practices in the context of sustainable development are uh, crucial to actually achieving uh, shared societies and the goal of shared societies in the future. Uh, the respect for the human rights of indigenous peoples, especially in regard to their rights to lands, territories, and resources, their right to self-determination, uh, their rights to their traditional economies, all of these elements, uh, hopefully through the Shared Societies project of the Club de Madrid, can in fact be uh, realized and uh, manifested and hopefully implemented by the various different governments across the globe. The key challenges and the burden should be placed on both governments and the private sector in order to ensure that indigenous peoples do not suffer from the adverse impacts that are uh, really the result of um, unbridled economic development or unbridled uh, extractive industries active within or near indigenous people's territories and, and lands and impacting their uh, traditional uh, resources. Um, if um, the private sector and governments don't uh, respond in um, meaningful and comprehensive fashion to uh, these important elements of sustainable development, we are only going to see greater social problems not only in the short term, but also, I think, more significantly in the long term.